Here we are in the lab again. This is the NCIX PC 4050. So this is the performance package here. Now the performance package has a couple of differences over the base package. For one thing, it takes the 6850 that comes in the base package and upgrades it to a 6870. It takes the 1055T 6-core processor and upgrades it to a 1090T. It takes the OEM style memory without heat spreaders and fanciness and it adds, well, heat spreaders and fanciness, so that's pretty cool. And it also bumps up the power supply to a Seasonic 620 watt power supply, which is extremely quiet, extremely high quality, and just generally extreme. Comes with good sleeving and all of that good stuff. So what the NCIX PC Facebook guy, as you may or may not know him, I actually have no idea what alias he uses, but he's the one who does a lot of the work on our system prototyping and uh, evaluation. So he's got me running the crisis benchmark here. What he wanted me to point out about this particular system is that, here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit this. So we had that running. It's a crisis benchmark with the latest uh, with the latest patch is he wanted me to show you with 4x anti-aliasing, all details maxed, this system at this price point is actually able to achieve average frames per second of over 30 FPS, but that's not really the most impressive part. The most impressive part is that the minimum frames per second is actually 25 FPS. So if you check out some of the videos on my blog about the 6870, I actually did a performance review and I apologize, but my graphs did not include minimum FPS for all of the benchmarks I ran, but they probably should have because the average FPS for the 6870 looks very competitive, but when you bear in mind that when you get into a very crowded area or anything bad happens in general, the frame rate tends to dip, well, really that's your performance bottleneck in terms of your frame rate. So if you have a card that runs at average 30 frames per second and another card that runs at average 30 frames per second, but this one only dips as low as 28 and the other one dips to 10 when things get crowded, well, it's pretty obvious which one's a better card. So that means that even though you can say average FPS 30 isn't good enough, if it only dips to 25 in the most intense parts, that's pretty darn good. He also ran Vantage with a couple different configs, I think, but this is the one for the 6870 single card, so it scores a performance score of about 15.3 thousand. And we'll do a separate video once he's actually got it installed. This particular system is going to feature the half 922 case, so it should look pretty sweet once it's installed in there. We've got an ASUS motherboard, so you've got the cool design elements on all of the MOSFET coolers, all of that good stuff. Very stylish looking, as well as the 6870. It's, they're all reference cards right now, so no matter which 6870 you get, it's going to look like this. And personally, I think the reference cooler looks pretty sweet. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, and uh, don't forget to check out the NCIX PC Facebook page. We can totally create more characters. So. Henceforth, the guy holding the camera, I can tell you this, is not actually cameraman. That's not cameraman. This is our NCIX PC guy, and uh, he's not in front of the camera, so he gets to be whatever I decide to call him. So henceforth, his nickname will be Crazy Russian. Crazy Russian has reminded me that the Performance Edition also includes a WD Caviar Black hard drive with 64 megs of cache, while as uh, whereas the basic edition does not include a black series hard drive.